Welcome to Edinburgh, Texas. Ask me if I've slept. No, not really. Ask me if I'm bothered by it. No, not really. Two awesome matches coming up today. Highly anticipated Mexico versus Canada is up first. I can't wait to bring you all along for the action once again. So let's get going. something a little bit different this vlog. I wanted to interact with some fans. Well, I've gone and I've interviewed some Canadian fans, some Mexican fans. I personally didn't know who I wanted to win today. And it's funny because I keep kind of changing my mind. I'll interview like some Canadian fans and they'll be like my favorite people. And then I'll be like, well, they were really awesome. I think I'm gonna pull for Canada. And then I go and I interview a Mexican family that's like dressed to the nines, Mexican gear. And then I'm thinking, oh, I kind of want Mexico to win. All right, best hat so far out of everyone here, clearly. <laughs> Winter Texas. This guy, you didn't tell this guy what to wear today. But he's an American. Oh, he's an American. Oh. We're Winter Texas. That oh, makes you Winter Texas. Yeah, yeah, I love it. All right. Who is your favorite player and why? Christine Sinclair, because she's the top scorer in the league. She's the best player in the world. Canada. Way to go, Canada. You got to tell me, what brings you here and why? Uh, we're here to support our Mexican team. We like all the sorts of songs. Yeah. It brings us together. We love this. Yeah. Right. All right, I'm loving these outfits. I have a question for you though. Who is your favorite player and why? Christine Sinclair, because she's the best player in the world. <laughs> Who's your favorite player and why? Bianca Sierra. She plays with the Tigres and she's born in California. All right, we have to ask. Who's your favorite player and why? Janelle Maria. Cause she's my daughter! I feel like we're in the parent section, is this true? Who's your favorite player and why? Emilia Alvarado, she's my daughter. Very proud. Canada with a 2 0 win over Mexico. We're hanging here in the mix zone hoping to get some interviews. Every time you win three times in a row, it's good momentum, especially for semi finals. It's so important because that's when you qualify for the Olympics. Obviously, just a step up in competition today compared to our, our first two games of the tournament. And I'm proud of how we responded. You know, just another shutout, something we, we pride ourselves on. And then, yeah, it's nice to get the victory. Nine points, top of our group, but it's what we wanted. It's been a crazy hour. We got to go down to the mix zone after Canada and Mexico. Got some interviews with the players. We came back out here. Bunny Shaw, Tiffany Cameron, two goals for Jamaica, and they are up 2-0 at halftime. Really pumped for second half action. Haven't gotten to see them play in person, so this is really cool. You probably thought we were done with our top moments, but I have some time to kill as a way for my ride, so I'm gonna break down my top three moments of the day. Three moments of the day. Here we go. Moment number one. Sinclair continuing to be Sinclair. As we learned, so many were here to watch the legend do her thing, and that she did once again today, scoring the winning goal against Mexico. Moment number two. Emily Alvarado's 90th minute saves. In the waning moments, Canada had two opportunities to score their third goal, but Alvarado had different plans. Round 
rounding out our moments at number three, Jamaica's win over St. Kitts and Nevis. I'm happy that my reggae girls not only got a win, but they got to let loose and they scored seven goals. For me, this team has a really bright future, so I was really happy to see them go out in a high. That's a wrap. Here from Group B. Gotta go catch my flight to LA. So I will catch you on the flip side. <laughs> You're so weird.